Shalom. All praise go to the Most High, the Son, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the else's great millstone who rule well, okay, who taught us this truth in all sincerity, in all honesty, okay, and shall want to the first out there pushing this word in all sincerity and honesty all around the world, okay. Uh, on the brother Quara Allah and Low Will, I'm getting to a quick topic. I'm gonna start off with uh, James 4 and 13. Says, go to now, ye that say today or tomorrow we will go into into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that is appear that appear for a little time and then vanisheth away. For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. Okay? Because people, alright, you know, people, you, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, which are the true heirs that's going to the Bible, you know, east toward the heathen nations, alright? People in general will say they're going to do such and such. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. They're going to move. They're going to build, they're going to sell, all right, they're going to buy, you know, they're going to do what they want to do. They got plans for next year, they got plans for next week, all right, but you could you could die the next moment, man. Here you are thinking up plans, thinking up plans to do, and really what you're doing is breathing your last breaths, okay? So, in order for, in order for you to say you're going to do something, that's really up to the most high. Okay, the most hard uh, uh, makes up your mind for you to do something. You got no control over what you're going to do next. So for that, we got to say what? Lord will. All right. You got to say Lord will, man. For that, you ought to say, it says, it is even a vapor that appears for a little while and then vanisheth away. Okay, yeah, your, your life, your life, man. That's that's what that's how your your uh your life is. You know, it's nothing. It ain't nothing, man. It ain't nothing but a shell. One minute is here, the next minute is gone. So who the hell are you? You know, to say you gonna do such and such as you please, man. Let me get a, a quick scripture. Uh, Let's see if I can get it. So what's this? And everything give thanks, for this is the will of the Most High, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, concerning you. So in everything give thanks, man, because that's the Lord's will. That's a beautiful precept. Okay? Everything give thanks, that's, that's the Lord's will. Alright? If you up or if you if you down, if you if you um Low or high, if you in a position of power, if you in a position of uh, you know, if you're not in power, hey, that's all the Lord's will. You still gotta give thanks, man. You gotta give thanks when you up and when you down too. All right, because these people got it in their head. They got this phrase uh being pushed around. Uh, it's written in stone. It's written in stone. Okay, be going out tonight. It's written in stone. You can have a blast. What's written in stone? All right, that phrase come from the scriptures when Moses uh, received the uh, the the Most High's testimony. Okay, he had it, he had it engraved in those in those stone tablets. That's written in stone. That's that's the law's testimony, man. Okay, his law, statutes, commandments, his wills. All right, that's that's uh. That was his testimony, written in stone. Okay? Because unlike unlike people, when the Lord says something, uh it's it's written in stone, like the phrase that comes from uh from uh what's that Exodus, the uh, 20th or 30th chapter. Okay. And you know what? I got some precepts here. I'm gonna bring it out. I'm gonna bring it in. 
bring it up. Lord will, you know. Lord will, I'm gonna bring it out. Lord will, I'm gonna bring it out, man. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. One second. No, it's a lock. Bear with me one second. All right, here we go. This is uh, this is Malachi. Uh, Malachi 3 and 6, Malachi 3 and 6, uh, for I am the Lord, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed, for I am the Lord, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob, alright, sons of Jacob or who, the Israelites, because Jacob's name was changed to Israel, okay, and the true Israelites according to the Bible, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, how do we know that, because we fall under the curses, Okay, we fall on under the curses, man. All right, those the so-called white man, those are those so the so-called white man call themselves uh, Jewish. All right, they ain't the real Jews, man. That's why they call themselves Jewish. It's like to be like, to be like, or 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 pertaining to, man. They're trying to be uh, a a Jew, but they ain't. First of all, uh, the Jews is only, is only one uh, tribe, Judah. That's short for Judah. Okay. So what about the rest of the tribes now? All right. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Are right, you Spanish-speaking tribes? You the real Jews. All right. Jew, uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Naphtali. You know, Ishakar. All right. It says, Malachi 3 and 6, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. The Lord change not. That's written in stone. Okay? You could say that's written in stone. All right? Which it is. When it goes back to the testimonies, this, this is part of that testimony. All right? Uh, what's that? Matthews 5 and 18. This is, uh, this is Matthew 5, <clears throat> Matthew 5, verse 18. It says, For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass on, pass, pass, one jot or one tile shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. And the thing is, man, the earth ain't going to be destroyed. The earth is not going to be destroyed. America is going to be destroyed off the earth. But the earth is not going to be destroyed, man. All right. The Lord said he made the earth for who? For Israel. All right. His servants. Starting with Yahweh Shah. All right. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one title shall in no wise pass, pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these, uh, I, I, that was it. Oh, I'll go one more verse. It says, verse 17 says, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. These words are going to be fulfilled. Why? All right. Because it's written in stone. Huh? All right. That's when you can use that phrase, written in stone. Only time you can really use this phrase written in stone when you, when you pertain to the scriptures, when you pertain to the prophecies. Okay, and what's what's those prophecies that's written in stone? Uh, America's gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, the children of Israel, stone, the elect, are gonna be saved out of this up and coming destruction. Martial law, race riots, famine, the class of a dollar, the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. In Revelation, the 13th chapter. All these things, man. You can use that phrase written in stone. 
Because that's what it is, written in stone, man. Okay? But with that, I'm going to say all praises go to the Most High and the Son, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Double honesty, apostles, and the elves of great millstone. And Shalom said, Akimah, there, doing works, no sincerity, and honesty. Shalom.